Everybody wants to be famous. 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 The year 2020, imagine that, is bearing down on us and chasing clout is officially America's new pastime. Take a seat, baseball. Some people work their face off for it while others possess raw, unbridled talent that leads fame to them even when they're not looking for it. Hell, these days, you can become famous just by existing as an insufferable troglodyte with a smartphone. Now we can't think out 2020. There is a million paths to stardom, but one that has proven most effective is to just hang out with already famous people. You need proof? I thought you'd never ask. Kim Kardashian? Who the hell is that? You see, in 2003, that was a valid question, but then she hung out with already famous OG influencer Paris Hilton a few times, popped up in some paparazzi photos, and now 15 years and one pixelated sex tape later, you can't eat a blueberry scone without hearing about her dysfunctional billionaire family on the internet, radio, and television set. <laughs> Not convinced? Okay. Cody Ko and Noel Miller. Both were working long hours at a traveling circus concession stand for minimum wage when they randomly ran into Post Malone at a LARPing festival in 2017. Next thing you know, they're signing major label record deals and hanging out with the inventor of kombucha. What was that? You still need proof? Ethan Klein. Bedridden from obesity most of his adult life, he spent his days binge eating pizza rolls and being sponge bathed by his caretaker and sister, Hyla, until Make-A-Wish finally made it possible for him to meet Post Malone at a One Direction concert. Bingo bango, fast forward a few years and him and his sister scoop up a $9 million mansion in Bel Air. Where's my mansion? Where, where's Nigel's record deal? I like kombucha. Son of a bitch! Our path forward is clear. Post Malone is the common denominator of a YouTuber's future success, so it is my duty, nay, it is my responsibility to become friends with Post Malone and ensure a future prosperous for my family. Hello everyone, and welcome back to a coffin full of lewd pictures of your seventh grade science teacher. My name is Leon Lush, and I'm genuinely thankful that you decided to join me for a bit here today. So the intro was jokes, quite clearly, but let's imagine for a second that it wasn't. I would be SOL because I'm basically a stay-at-home dad that lives on the dead-ass opposite side of the country from Hollywood, so a chance encounter with Post Malone is, is off the table, but what I lack in geographical proximity, I make up for in big-ass mother brains. Which is why I did what any normal, highly functioning adult would do and paid a bunch of freelancers on Fiverr.com to Photoshop me into some pictures with Post Malone to see if my social media audience would believe it or not. I, I don't know, I guess I got a lot of time on my hands. So first I scoured the internet for pictures that could potentially be believable. Nothing popular, nothing high quality, preferably candidates of post out partying or with fans or something. Turns out Google kind of sucked at that, but with the help of Instagram fan accounts, I was able to find four deeper cuts that I think are less recognizable to the layperson. Then I studied the pictures and snapped a few green screen photos of myself in poses that would hopefully look natural when I was edited in the chosen photos. I knew ahead of time that a can of Bud Light would be absolutely crucial for this step because post seemingly has one glued to his hand at all times. Once I organized the photos, I reached out to a bunch of editors on Fiverr with clear instructions of what I was looking for in a Google Drive link to the files they would need. I ended up hiring four editors at four different price tags because I wanted to see if price point equaled believability when the photos were finished. And with 16 photos to choose from, I felt pretty confident we'd be able to find at least one or two that may be believable enough to post online. All right, so I set up a quadrant for each of the four editors, gave them a fake name that I thought was funny, and then put up the price that they charged me per picture from $10 all the way up to $50 per picture. What a gouge, he better come through for me at that price. Let's take a look. Here's the original of the first one, and boom. All right, they all look decent at first glance. It looks like Herb was the only one to really nail my height. I didn't really communicate that well to everybody. One thing that's bothered me is like the lighting of my hand down there. I think just the way I took the photo, it's like, uh, it just looks out of place. And yeah, it looks like Cheeks actually noticed it, got rid of the hand, but what's going on? What's going on up here with the shelf back here? It's like these metal bars are just fading into nothing. Same thing down here, just, what is that? It's, an, it's a mess back there. Even with $50 a pick, and dear God, look at this green color cast all over my body from the green screen. You're gonna charge me the most expensive one, 50 bucks a pick, and you don't have the decency to get rid of the green color cast. That is some, that is, it is amateur hour right now. I'm thinking Cheeks is gonna take this one. I like the shadows, she got rid of the hand. Not pumped about what's going on behind my head here, but maybe I can clean that up myself, hold on. All right, I 
I think that might pass as like an Instagram post or something. Picture number two original and... Okay, not bad. I told you the Bud Light is crucial, man. You gotta have it. Looks like for 10 bucks, I have hypothermia or I'm about to die. I don't know what's going on with my lip skin tone there. Cliff not looking all that bad. Just something looks a little unnatural about this whole situation. The glasses, the softbox light reflection, I don't think people would pick up on that. <laughs> oh my god. And Herb. Herb again, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this green color cast. I look like Shrek. You're charging me 50 bucks a pick. You don't even know how to properly green screen your subject. Are you kidding me, Herb? Herb. Look at the green beard, Herb. No one's gonna believe that, Herb. Jesus. $50 a pick. I got swindled. I could just desaturate it myself, but I just don't even feel like it at this point. Let's look at Cheeks, coming through again. Second cheapest price. Looking pretty good, Cheeks. Not gonna lie to you, from like zooming out a little bit, I might believe that one. Again, the softbox and the sunglasses, but dude, I'm going, I'm going Cheeks again. 16.25 a pick with her second dub. So pick three I knew was gonna be a little difficult. First of all, the gentleman I'm replacing is just under five feet tall, it looks like, and I asked them specifically to put post head on my shoulder instead of on the top of my head because it wouldn't make sense otherwise. All right, first glance, baby at $10. Uh, that just looks a little too awkward. That's ruled out. Cliff kind of looks good. I don't know why it's so yellow, but the head on the shoulder thing with the hair looks decent. Let's check in with Herb at $50 a pick. Oh, what do you know? Look at, oh my God, the green color cast, the green color. I look, I look like Shrek! God damn it, Herb! Oh, I should have just lit that $200 on fire, if I'm being honest. Good Lord Almighty. The how, the audacity to be, to charge $50 a picture and not know how to get rid of the green color cast from a gut, son of a bitch! Worst part is, I think otherwise, this one looks the best. Like, you got the height right, and the head looks pretty good. I might just, I might just desaturate this one myself. Cheeks looks good too. It just looks too awkward there, I think. I don't know, man. I, you know what, I, th I think Cliff, I think Cliff coming in with his first dub. Congratulations, Cliff at 1875, you nailed it. All right, final picture, just a couple of bros checking out a fish tank, man. You love to see it. First glance, I'm pretty happy with most of these. Cheeks right off the bat looks the most natural with the lighting and the shadows. Herb at $50, huge surprise. Pants are way too bright, let me guess. Can I find some green, folks? Can I get some green? Hey, there it is, green everywhere, phenomenal. Thank you, Herb. Fantastic waste of money you were. Baby at 10 bucks, not bad. A little bright, I think, around the hand in the beer can area. Cliff, not bad with the shadows and the skin tones, however, post beer can, uh, just kind of disappears there and his hands are looking a little. I think Cheeks, I think Cheeks we have as our, as our fourth picture winner. Cheeks, ultimately, coming through, with two, three, or yeah, I guess two out of the four. Two out of the four. Herb, absolute letdown at 50 bucks a pick. Baby, Valiant, I give her, you know, honorable mention. She gets like a, you know, a medal, but we didn't select any of her picks at $10 a pick, but I would have taken hers over Herb's at $50, goddamn. Should have just, his, his the title of his fiber thing should have been like, I'll charge you $50 to make you look like Shrek in any picture you want. Perfect, would have gotten my money's worth. Uh, Cheeks is the overall winner uh, of this transaction. And uh, now we just gotta figure out where we're posting these. <laughs> I'll never forget the time I ate an edible and talked with Austin for an hour about how to properly clean a fish tank. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Fire it up. I feel like the absurdity of talking about how to clean a fish tank for an hour should hopefully distract people from the fact that the photo is actually fake, so. All right, we're going Instagram for this one. Who brought the Bud Light guy to a champagne party? <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. I feel like this is definitely the most believable one. I don't even know if I can, I don't even know if I should post the other two. They're just like borderline too obvious. So I guess now we just wait to see if her plan works and I sit back and I let the universe manifest my fame and my riches. I can already taste it. Nine million dollar mansions, record deals for myself and for Nigel. <laughs> it's all coming together now. Yeah, of course, until I upload this video and everyone realizes I'm just a a fat, pathetic, middle-aged man uploading Photoshop pictures from my from my office chair. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you you just have to, you know. Alrighty. Well, it is uh, well over 24 hours later. In fact, it is the following night, 2 a.m. Uh, just finished watching the Logan Paul and KSI fight. Pretty entertaining. I'm not gonna lie. Didn't really care who won, but congrats to, to KSI. 
uh, was interesting in the YouTube world. That has nothing to do with this video though, big in the YouTube land. I've been reading some of the responses to the to the tweet, to the Instagram post. Uh, I feel like such a slime ball. I'm just gonna be honest here, but I think it works pretty well. I think the photoshops for the most part, yeah, anyway, yeah, since yeah, it's yeah. been going so well, I've been dying to tell you, but I wanted to keep it a secret until this video came out. Uh, Nigel and I just closed on a brand new Seaport Mansion, and Island Records caught wind of my new music video, Chill, coming out in just uh, just under a month. I just want to be the one that you could chill, 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 chill with. And signed Nigel and I up for a three-year four album deal, so <laughs> I'm just saying. Big W's, baby. Joking aside, that music video is dropping in a couple of weeks, followed a few weeks later by a five song EP and a second music video. Been working on this stuff for the past couple months. Uh, it's been delayed a little bit, but the dream. <laughs> I'm living it, baby. <laughs> I think it's great how Posters makes friends with all sorts of YouTubers and content creators like it's NBD. I think it's great too. Unfortunately, it's not me, but it's still, it's great. I wish I could have learned from you just like Posty on how to properly clean a fish tank. Listen, fake <laughs> pictures aside, I'm happy to teach you how to clean a fish tank at any time. We can even take edibles too if you want. What the f what is the context? Well, I guess, uh, I guess this video is the context, really. Adobe Photoshop, JK, that's dope, bro. <laughs> Should have stuck with your gut on that one, man. I can't tell if this is bullshit or not, but I sure hope not, lettuce, mayonnaise, and onions. Sorry. You look like some pretentious fish expert with those glasses, lol. When I wear my glasses, which is infrequently, but when I do, that is exactly the look that I am going for. I think I was correct yesterday in assuming that the caption was really gonna help sell it because uh, it worked marvelously. And honestly, you know, it's sad enough to lie about meeting Post Malone, but I'm more disappointed that I had to lie about eating edibles and talking about cleaning a fish tank for an hour. That sounds just like a good time, you know? <laughs> so the Instagram picture went over pretty well too. Was definitely met with a little more skepticism, way more comments as well. I was getting a bunch of text messages from people that knew me right after I posted it, like, no way! And I was like, yeah, correct, actually, there is there is no way it's Photoshop. So I had to let them down uh, that I wasn't as cool as they thought. But listen, dude, so many influencers, so many e-girls and travel bloggers and all these people making money posting Photoshop pictures to, to Instagram? Why can't your boy do it? Why can't I post Photoshop pictures to Instagram to seem cooler than I am, to make some money, to get more likes than I normally do? That's literally what everybody does on Instagram. I'm just so happy to be adding myself into Post Malone pictures instead of slimming my waist and making my ass bigger. Same concept, just implemented differently. <sighs> you know, I gotta tell you, it's been pretty neat feeling cool amongst my Instagram friends for the past 36 hours, and now this video's up, so I'm going right back to being that weird lonely guy that has a relationship with a monkey doll. Lighting is different on Leon. What are you, a detective? Shut up! There's something strange about this picture. I don't know what you mean. Bro, you did not meet Post Malone. That is correct. I can't tell if this is Photoshop or not. I think my eyes are failing me. Evan Curtis says, whoa, I think it is Photoshop. Interesting to note, Evan Curtis then goes on to reply to a bunch of other people in the comments, making sure that they know that it is Photoshop. Really crusading to make sure that people aren't duped by this fake picture. I respect the hustle, Evan. Uh, looking out for the light and the truth, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Literally everyone I ask has mixed answers. I didn't think of Photoshop until I read this comment. Now I'm confused. It def is Photoshopped. That's what I think, but every time I look at the picture, I just get confused. Lettuce, mayonnaise, and onions. Oh, boy. Guys, he definitely Photoshopped himself in there laughing till I'm crying emoji. Flippin' hater. I don't know why, but you look like Ice Cube. What? <laughs> in the post go on, I did find it funny that one of uh, my great friends that I grew up with called me out <clears throat> because of the height. It's like, what, post is 5'10"? I know for a fact you're 6'3". And uh, you got me there. Well, now that this video is live and the jig is up, I just want to say sorry to any of those I might have let down. All I can say is that I've, I've made, made a severe and continuous lapse, lapse in my judgment, judgment and, and, and I don't, don't expect, expect to be forgiven. forgiven. I'm, I'm simply here to apologize. apologize. I think if there's anything positive to be taken away from this experience, it's that uh, my new merch is finally dropping at the end of this month. So keep your eyes peeled for that launch date, tomatomafia.com. I'll have some more details as the date gets closer. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my next Photoshop video where I'll be inserting myself into every picture of Trisha Paytas crying on her kitchen floor. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. You, you, you.